What is going on guys? It was pretty much torrential downpours all day yesterday. My driveway being rocked. Did not like it. Saved some of it with sandbags. But it's another gloomy, wet day. It's starting to rain drizzle more, but I'm gonna toss the Volvo up in the air because last time I went out and drifted it, it was all good and fine. Then I went for a high speed run the highway and I was coming back home and then I was taking a turn. I started to hear like a weird like noise in the front end after the high speed run. And then I came into my driveway and I smelled some gear oil and I did not like, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna put it up in the air, even though it's moist out and see see if i can see anything maybe the front something the front end's loose i'm not sure but i'd rather go over it and want to drive it so let's do it took me a second i didn't want to go i was like damn <laughs> i didn't think it was gonna work i honestly haven't started this thing in i don't even know a week maybe it's been a little while battery was a little a little unhappy there fires right up cool for my birthday I just turned 19 September 14th I also got for my parents a jack and some jack stands so this is probably gonna be like the Volvo's permanent change to tire on the go kit because I can put this in this I think pretty much the Volvo has a whole compartment in the back underneath that flap I think I could just put that in there It'd be awesome get a four-way bar and always be able to swap some tires we blow them off because obviously the Volvo doesn't like tires that much all right guys so this is one of the few times I've actually been underneath of the car in the rear end I don't know for some reason I haven't done a lot with the diff yet I really haven't because it's been spinning too really good but because I'm here I figured I'd take the opportunity to show you a little bit more about the car kind of its weird things this has a big um, carbon fiber cross spring it goes all the way across. It's so weird, but that's there. And it also has these Nevomatic self-leveling shocks. And what I'm gonna do a little bit further down the line is it's gonna get a coilover set up here and eliminate this self-leveling. It'll get coilovers in the front and you don't need to do anything with the spring. So it'll be essentially on coilovers and be cool. And you can't find anything for this car in the US. There's a full coilover kit, like I just said, front and rear coils directly from Sweden though so that'll be down the line a little bit not quite yet and while I'm here I'll bring you up front to show you down down that way a little bit more but here's where I had my Spicer drive shaft um, adapted to the Volvo diff um, outlet flange wasn't a big deal you got we had I just find I had to find that and make sure it, was, it had the same bolt alignment pattern as a Volvo and I had him build me my drive shaft my muffler is also junk. So this car could probably be a whole ton, a lot quieter, but it has a whole new exhaust system up until right there. And then just when it comes over the arch, it's just obviously junk. So that's fine for now, cause it's pretty quiet, but it could definitely be a lot quieter. I just want to keep the stock Volvo tip looking. I mean, sleepy wagon. I'll bring you guys um, down to the cross member upper drive shaft area. My exhaust dump turned down is doing awesome. Still gets a little hot, obviously, right there, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't melt the floor anywhere near as bad as it used to. It doesn't smoke anymore, so it's doing the trick. But I am now going to show you guys a little bit of the cross member because I really haven't explained how I have this transmission and motor in here. Well, you know the motor motor mount situation, but this is the stock Volvo cross member. And what I did was I just flipped it up, um, flipped it backwards <laughs> in here. Welded some tabs to it so I can get the first mounting bolt hole that I didn't that would originally be that so I can get some more support there Same thing Over there I welded a tab and I just drilled out The center a little bit or cut out I should say and it's kind of dark in there obviously, but there's just a bolt in there to the the um, T56 rubber mount and there it is and this has this is actually, I think I've said before, a two-piece drive shaft. But what it is, is the first piece of the drive shaft is two and a half, two and a half um, inches in diameter. And down here, once it goes through the center bearing, oh, I'm fucking, I'm wrong, my bad. That's a three inch drive shaft right there. That's three inch, and this is two and a half. My bad, yeah. Because it goes 
through the gas tank. Very, it's kind of hard to, but this, well, this is the gas tank. And as you can see, the drive shaft goes through that shit, which is kind of weird. So this is a two and a half inch um, diameter tube to be safe going through here and not hit things and hit fuel and be very not happy. And then this is three inches up here. So it can have a little bit more um, strength and girth into it. And it's been doing awesome, as you guys have been seeing. I've been having a shit ton of fun with this thing. This car is so much fun. And I really hope to get to, to some drift tracks and get better and improve my driving with it, because I'm having a blast. Well, there she is, guys. I just got done checking everything out, and everything in the rear end seems fine. That gear oil smell I was smelling, I think, was maybe just because we were hauling ass and the speed we were going. But no leaks, no dribbles, everything checks out rear end tranny-wise. So that's good. And then that noise I was hearing in the front end, everything, I, I can't I can't find. Everything seems to check out fine. I've been shaking the wheels, checking control arms, all that stuff. And everything seems fine, so I'm just going to drive it, and maybe it was a fluke, and see what happens. But these rear tires are junk. You saw me put them on, like last video but we went out and drifted so these are on the belts now too this side's like a little bit worse yeah a little, little not terrible but time for some more tires good thing we got a whole bunch more in the garage i don't know which ones i'm gonna do yet i still i need to mount some of them because this one leaks i think oh that's the old the ones in the wheels leak i gotta mount some some more burners i think i'm gonna, we're gonna open up the trunk real quick though or the, the hatch, or the hell you want to call it, and we'll um, see what we can do about the anywhere to change the tire kit. For all the hatchback guys, if your pistons are junk, let's get some vice grips. This thing is absurd though. The amount of room it has, like look at this. Fold this down, fold that down, you can lock it and everything. But these vents, what the hell, are you, why are there vents? Just for air, I guess? But it all kind of, it really has an intricate not really intricate, but it has all those, it has jacking points, and it has already the fancy hook-on jack in here. So that honestly would work pretty good, but for drift purposes of track and stuff, we're getting two wheels up quick, you need that jack. A lot of room though, a lot of room. I'm gonna leave this tire in just for the fact of it's a spare and it's brand new, but what I could do if I wanted to, I could take that out and probably put the jack stands literally in there just sitting down and then have the jack in there the nice jack to put get the both tires up and then i could put whatever i want in here for miscellaneous who knows rags tools who cares and then i'll just put the i'll put two burners there you go i'll put two burners just right there we'll be ready to go for the track so i'm not sure right now i think i might just put maybe the big jack in here if i can and the four-way bar just to have it and good to go so sadly, this doesn't fit right here. Just barely doesn't make it, just by a little bit. No big deal though, because when I put the two burners in, I'll just keep that out. But this is still cool, because it leaves me a lot of room for whatever in here. I'll have the four-way bar in here, and I also have friggin' Volvo wagon life. Guys. A crap ton of space over here too, and over there, if you take that one off. So for right now, oh wait a minute, what's in here? I'm intrigued, what's this? Oh my God, look at that. Ew, what is that? What are those for? Some crazy gloves. Oh my God. Well, some wrenches, a flathead, one flathead. Wow, thanks guys. We're missing, there's something missing, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll put the greasy gloves back in there. Yep, nice. You never know, guys. Oh God, I can't get too close now. Oh, crap, how do I do it? What the hell? Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. You never know when you're gonna need a pair of weird greasy gloves. Okay, so forget about those for now. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do for now is just put the four-way bar, just put that right here, and I'll have that one spare tire and that jack lifted up just to have on there. Just to have that there, because I don't see a, another tool, I don't know why, but just to have that in there for if I do blow a tire, because as they showed you, my tires are junk. And we'll, if we go do any serious drifting, we'll get the whole drift kit out and be prepared. But I think that's what I'm gonna call it for today, guys. I really wanna go and drive this thing. I haven't driven it in like, exhaust mafia, in like a week. And I'm anxious. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Tell me, tell me, tell me.
pretty lights Look me in the face, tell me that you love